What's up everyone and welcome to week 64 of our top 5 play segment here on Potato Monster. The UK was awesome but it's great to be back home and making videos for you guys so please sit back, relax and enjoy. At number 5 we have Laser Yoda pulling out the clutch support on Janna. At the start of this play she is chasing the low health Caitlyn but gets pulverized and takes some nice damage but then she starts to retreat as TF starts up his ult and now that they're outmatched she sees the window of opportunity and flash ults right as he arrives saving the stun Tristana and then following it up with a great tornado hitting all of them as they escape. Positioning and timing are what separate the good from the great on Janna, and Laser Yoda proved himself in this play. Well done. Coming in at fourth place, we have AB Kingbird on a Moo Moo. Right off the bat, we see he's in trouble via gank while invading, but he notices Misfortune is on her way over, so he's gonna go ahead and ult right as Misfortune starts hers, holding all three in place and letting her melt them down. They instantly get the double, and it looks like Shaco might get away, but with some luck and a great Q, a Moo Moo secures the turnaround 3 for 0 exchange. Scoring in at third place is Lifeless Eyes on Vayne, and as you can see, the enemy team is shoving mid, and all that's left to defend is Vayne. She waits and sees her chance to go, popping final hour, tumbling to kill Jax, and then killing Shaka before he could alter deceive. Udyr hops right on her, and she falls really low, but then goes stealth and grabs the triple, then turning to Graves as she dips really low again, but goes invisible just in time to grab the quad, and finally, she chases down Janna for the 1v5 pentakill and ace. GG. At our number 2 spot for this week, we have Vaccine on Ezreal, and we start this play off in the heart of the battle as he's keeping his distance while DPSing the front line, and then he starts up an insane ult, hitting all 5 enemy players while killing Irelia, even though she flashed. Now we jump back to the play as he gets on Yi, picking up the double, and then followed by the triple kill on Mundo as the arcane shift flashes for space. With Lulu's help, he gets back in there and chases down Ryze for the quad, and finally Targ for the pentakill. Dad ult. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Mahani UK on LeBlanc with one of the sickest jukes I've ever seen. So right from the start, Ash pops her passive and with her W down, she decides to run out while controlling her clone and auto attacking, faking everyone out as she jumps away. Ash then flashes after realizing she didn't die but manages to hit her with only one arrow before LeBlanc pulls ahead. Without anywhere to run to because the enemy Fuhrer could cut her off, she continues straight ahead and runs into the brush while her death closes in. We slow it down as all of a sudden she Qs, ults, and Qs again for the insane kill on Ash, and then Chains goes up on Fuhrer and she runs and buys some time thanks to the slowdown and flash, gets feared while barely sneaking into the brush, the root goes off as Fuhrer flashes, and then she jumps into the next brush, juking all three of them and then porting back and getting away. Watch this again, soak it in, cry tears of joy, repeats. And the winner of this week's player's choice is 195 Dennis on Gragas. As this clip plays, I just wanted to thank everyone for their patience as we took our mini leave to the UK. We had a blast there, but we missed making these videos, so it's great to be back. The gears are also going for the shipping to all the previous winners, so sit tight, guys. I will try to do my best to get back into the schedule for Friday, but next week we should be A-OK. -okay. Thanks again, everyone. Like the video if you loved any of these plays. <clears throat> Dat LeBlanc. And as always, have a great week, and I'll see you back here for week 65.